Hey, Pluto. Do you like black? Join the cult, please. Okay, so let's speed run this. So what we're going to do is very simple. We're going to have Hakma solo it with his defensive dice. So we're going to start with seize your chance on contract of swiftness to make sure nothing else is gathered. We're going to use Wrath of Torment as well to start getting Hakma going. Because he has Kazuzuni. Basically, if someone dies, you get more stat bonuses. This is no place for the weak or the foolhardy. Yes, and you'll be hearing that a lot. Gaze of others so we can increase our block dice. And now everyone's going to start dive bombing us. Which they really want to do today. So I can just do a page draw here. You sh Normally you should do that on the previous turn, but oh well. And all you do is just... One Serpentine Barrier. If you have Endure this, use that. But since I didn't have it there, One Serpentine Barrier will keep Hakma safe for the turn. And also, this is a passive right here where we're doing one damage. I think it's Double Kick if I remember correctly. Lean Blade Wings. So every time you clash, you'll get plus one. You'll deal one more damage for upon winning the clash, which is really nice. So we want this guy to kill everything else off. And we can take one of those. Survival is a tenuous proposition. Because we want everyone dead this turn. Survival is a And now next turn. We're pretty much guaranteed to get Blue Star, if not Penitence. So all the other Nuggets will die this turn. We take Penance, just because we don't want our Hand Clogged, and Sound of Star. If you somehow don't get Sound of Star, take Penitence, because everything else will die from that point. And for this one, for Pen for Blue Star, you want to aim it on Pluto if he does Magic Missile. Because you want to get rid of that, because it's a range page. And then you just use your contract in order to deal with his two die attack. Snap. Just because we want to inflict a little bit of damage onto him. Confession, just to make sure we're not getting staggered. And abnormalities don't... Not abnormalities, ego pages don't matter after this point. Now it's just us versus him. And mostly you're just spamming Serpentine Barrier. Because you want to be able to win all these. And yeah, this... He can't do anything at this point. He's going to die next turn. Uh, if I remember correctly, take Divine Power so you don't have to deal with the cutscene. Yeah. If it was done. Because if you have to deal with the cutscene, it just slows you down by a bit. And we got all seven. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Nano machine, son. Just insane amount of block dice. And that's how you do it. Yesterday's promise is rather easy. I... If you don't run double kick, though, it does get a little bit more difficult. Here's a build. Three seize your chance. Three serpentine barriers. Three beyonds. Seize for endurance. Serpentine because good counter di block die. And beyond because draw two pages and a good block die. Uh, passives. I can just undo this. Hold on. Liquify Flush, your shield, to blue stuff, block dice. Double kick, if you don't have it, you will have to deal with his final phase a bit more. You'll run out of light and he'll be alive for like two more turns or something before you can kill him. And because of Zunai, just so you have more endurance to work with. The other nugget, Stand Wrath of Torment, Eugen's Passive, Extreme Fatigue, uh, Battle Ready, and skim the prescript just so you have consistent hands.
But yeah, that's the build. Hope this helped you. See ya.